One winter evening, Henry's driver said, We'll be out early tomorrow. We've got to take the flying kipper. Don't tell Gordon, but I think if we pull the kipper nicely, the fat controller will let us pull the express. The special pull they gave you is working well. Hurrah! Cried Henry. That will be lovely. All kinds of ships use the harbor of the big station by the sea. There are passenger ships, cargo ships, and fishing boats also come here. They unload their fish on the quay. Some of it goes to shops in the town, and the rest in a special train to other places far away. This is the train the railway men call the Flying Kipper. Henry was ready at 5 o'clock. There was snowy frost. Men hustled and shouted, loading the vans with crates of fish. The last door banged, the guard shone his green light, the Flying Kipper was ready to go. Let's go! Oh. Come on, come on, don't be silly, don't be silly! Pumped Henry to the vans, the van shuddered and groaned. Truck, trick, truck, trick, all right, all right! That is better, that is better! Pumped Henry. Clouds of smoke and steam poured from his funnel into the cold air, and the fire's light shone brightly. Hurry, hurry, hurry! panted Henry. They were going well. The light grew better. The signal light shone green as they passed. Then a yellow signal appeared ahead. His driver prepared to stop, but the home signal was down. All clear, Henry. Away we go. They couldn't know the points from the main line to a signing had frozen, and the home signal should have been said danger, but snow had forced it down. A goods train was waiting and deciding to let the flying kipper pass and the driver and fireman were drinking cocoa in the brake van. The kippers, dude, said the guard. Who cares? This is great cocoa. The driver got up. All right, driver, back to our engine. They got out just in time. <gasps> oh no! Driver, stop! <laughs> Ow! Oof! Ah! Oh my god, a train crash! Ow. Henry's driver and fireman had jumped clear before the crash, but Henry lay dazed in surprise. No. No, green cocoa. The fat controller came to see him. The signal was down, sir, said Henry. Cheer up, Henry. It wasn't your fault. Ice and snow caused the accident. I'm sending you to crew, a fine place for sick engines. They'll give you a new shape and a larger firebox. You'll feel a different engine, and you won't need special coal anymore. Won't that be nice? Yes, sir, said Henry doubtfully. Henry liked being at crew, but was glad to come home. A crowd of people waited to see him arrive in his new shape. He looked so splendid and strong that they gave him three cheers. Pete, Pete! He whistled. Thank you very much. I'm sorry to say, but a lot of little children are often late to school because they wait to see Henry go by. They often see him pulling the express. Hello, Gordon. Oh, you dick, the He does it so well that Gordon is jealous. But that's another story. <laughs>